Hello, my name's Charlotte and I teach the Family and Children's Yoga at Ironstone Wellbeing in Kettering. And welcome to this week's video. I've been thinking about what theme could we do next? And I have a cat at home and I thought, let's do pets. I have friends that have all kinds of different pets. So I thought of as many pets as I could to try and move our bodies into different animals that we would have during our home. Okay, so this might sound a bit strange, but our first pet is going to be an alpaca. Now I have a friend who has alpacas in a field at the back of her house. Her name is Roz, hello Roz. So for alpaca pose, let's start with alpaca pose. We place one foot forwards, the back leg is straight, the front leg is bent, and we send the hands up above our head. I'd also like to tribute this to Louis, who is a big alpaca fan. So sending the hands all the way above our heads, lovely. So that's alpaca pose on one side. Step your foot together and the other foot back, taking the hands above the head for alpaca pose on the other side. Excellent. Well done. After alpaca pose, we're going to parakeet pose. Now a parakeet is a bird, a green bird. Uh, a bit like, if, if you've ever read Mr. Magnolia, he has parakeets that pick holes in his suits. So placing one foot forward and one foot back, arms out to the side for wings, and then we lift the back leg into parakeet pose. Well done, placing the leg down, the other leg back, lifting the leg up for parakeet pose. Well done. And placing the leg down, excellent. After that, it's pony pose. Now we have some little ponies in our village that get walked around from their, where they live. They're stabled all the way to their field. So for pony pose, we have our feet nice and wide, hands together at our heart, and we bend down into pony pose. Well done. Try and keep the chest up and your head up, but bend the knees, pushing the knees back, Excellent. After pony pose, step your feet a little bit closer together and go down into frog pose. Okay, so this is frog stretch. You might have frogs in your pond, in your garden. Um, I wonder how many of you are growing frogs from tadpoles, from frog spawn. That's an exciting thing to do. So this is frog stretch. After frog pose, we're going into chicken stretch. <laughs> Lots of people keep chickens in their gardens, so we're having one foot forward, one foot back. We're going onto our tiptoe at the back, bending the front knee, hands with the head. Let's join our hands together and maybe we can peck down to the ground for that grain. Well done. Step the foot, feet together, one foot back, one foot forwards, pecking for that grain. Well done. Chicken pose. Lovely everybody. After chicken pose, we're going into dog pose or puppy pose. We've just had some puppies a few houses up from us, some four beautiful puppies being born. So this is puppy pose or dog stretch. Lots of you I imagine will have dogs. Excellent, well done, dog stretch. Coming down onto your knees. After dog stretch, we're going into gecko pose. Now a gecko is a reptile. We're going up into plank stretch. So this is our gecko pose. Okay, well done. And then, this is another strange one, ant pose. Okay, lots of people keep insects as pets. I remember my sister used to keep, keep wood lice in a little jar. So coming down onto our elbows, sending our feet back into ant pose. Excellent. Well done. After ant pose, we're going into goldfish stretch. I imagine lots of you have goldfish at home in your bowls. So we come and lie on our tummies, hands go behind us by our sides, and then we lift our chest up, lift our legs and our arms up. Excellent for goldfish pose. Well done. After goldfish pose, we have snail pose. Now our friends in Belgium had some snails for a short period of time. Hello to Augusta. We come down onto our hands and we put our legs back for snail pose. This is our snail stretch. Well done. After snail stretch, it's kitten stretch or cat stretch. So coming onto our hands and knees, let's turn into an angry cat. So we round the back, 
pushing through our hands, sucking our belly button up to our spine, and then going back to a straight back, and then pushing up as if we were an angry cat. Excellent. And then coming down to a straight back, and pushing all the way up like an angry cat. And coming down. Well done. After kitten stretch, it's ferret stretch. So one leg back and the opposite arm forwards for ferret stretch. Well done. And swapping arms and legs. So we're having opposite arm to leg. Well done. And coming down. After our ferret pose, it's lizard stretch. So we come up into plank pose and then we bring one leg forwards for lizard stretch. Taking that leg back. That leg forwards for lizard stretch. Well done. And then keep changing your legs. Well done. After, after our lizard stretch, we have parrot pose. So for parrot pose, we're bringing our knee forwards. Now, you've got a straight leg at the back there, like that. And you can keep on your hands if you want to, or you can come down onto your elbows. It's entirely up to you. And then we swap knees, so we take one leg forward and the other leg back into parrot pose on the other side. Well done. After parrot stretch, we're going into tortoise stretch or turtle stretch. Okay, so stretch the arms forward, placing the head all the way down to the ground into tortoise or turtle pose. Well done. So our back becomes the hard shell of the turtle. Excellent. And then for guinea pig pose, which is our next pose, we simply take our arms back like this. Well done. Placing our head on the floor. Now for bunny pose, we stay here and we lift our bottom off the floor. So we've got our head on the floor, lift our bottom off for bunny stretch. Excellent everybody, well done. After bunny stretch, it's chinchilla pose. So we come up onto our knees, nice and tall, for chinchilla pose. Well done. Making yourself as tall as you can be. They come up onto their legs sometimes. Well done. After chinchilla pose, it's crab pose. Now this is a strange one as well, but some people do keep crabs as pets. We went to the seaside last year and a crab came back with us from the seaside in a bucket. So we had a pet crab for a little while. So for crab stretch, you push your tummy up. Now you can go into full crab if you want to, or you can do tabletop like me. It's entirely up to you. And then we come all the way down. And the last of our pet poses is hamster pose. So let's lie on our backs. Bring our legs into our chest. And just have a little rock from side to side. Hamsters curl up in little balls when they go to sleep. They sleep through most of the day and they're awake at night time. I wonder how many of you have hamsters. And then after hamster stretch, just straighten the legs down. Get rid of any wiggles, lying on the back. Breathing in and out nice and slowly. Let's place our hands on our bellies. Breathe in and the belly goes up. Breathe out and the belly goes down. Breathe in and the belly goes up. Breathe out and the belly goes down. Keep breathing nice and slowly just through your nose. Thinking of all those wonderful animals that we were. Think of your lovely pets or maybe Think of pets that you might have when you grow up or pets that you would like to have. And then we slowly come to sit up. Well done. Before we go, we're just going to do three nice big breaths. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out through our mouth. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Well done, placing the hands together and let's say that very special word before we go. Namaste. Well done everybody. I can't wait to see you next week. Bye bye.